Hi guys, it's Mr B here and today we're going to be looking at rounding decimal numbers, okay? So when we talk about a decimal number, we mean a number that has a decimal point and then some decimal places after it. And we're going to be looking at how we can round them to different things. The first place we're going to look at is how we can round them to a whole number or a unit or a one. These are all the same thing. You might hear different people or see different questions ask you to do different things. But the nearest whole number, the nearest unit, the nearest one. These all mean the same thing. Okay. Now, 3.2 decimals, okay, numbers at the decimal point represent part of a whole, they represent part of one. So when we say a whole number, it means we're going to get rid of those decimals and say it so we have a number without a decimal. Okay. Same with rounding the units and ones. If we know our place value, uh, hundreds, tens, units, tenths, and so on. We know we're rounding to our nearest unit, or some people call it ones. It's whatever different people call it. It's all the same thing. Now, rounding decimals is pretty much the same as rounding any number. So if you know how to round any number, you'll be sorted with this. Okay? So, when we're doing rounding 3.2 to the nearest decimal, we're basically looking at a number line. Okay? We've got 3 here, we've got 4 there. And we're finding which number 3.2 is closest to, 3 or 4. Easy step to do that. What we do when we round, we always look at the number one down from it in place value to see what to do. So when we're rounding our units, we always look at our tenths column, the first one off the decimal place. Now, if it's a naught to a four, we round down, and if it's five to uh, sorry, and it's five to nine, we round up. Okay, I've drawn my arrows the wrong way there. Just notice. So naught to four, we round down. And five to nine, we round up. So, as we can see here, we have a two, which is between naught and four, which means we round this number down. Now, you have to be careful because when we round down, it doesn't mean we round this number down and we get the answer is two. What it means is if I look on this number line, 3.2 would be about there. If I was rounding up, the next whole number, the next unit, the next one I get to is four. If I round down, I'm going down to three. So my answer here would be three. So 3.2 rounded to the nearest whole number is three. So let's have a look at the other ones. Now on this one, we've got two digits, but don't worry. We still only look at our first one, our tenths column. So we this is our units. We look at our tenths column. We have a seven in it. Between five and nine, we round up, so we're going to round up our zero to the next number, which is one. If we look at this number, 35.26, we can look at our tenths column. Again, there's two, but we don't have to bother about that one. We just look at our tenths, and we have a two in it, not a four. We round down, so we round down to 35. This one has got tenths, hundreds, and thousands, three numbers, three decimal places. But again, we only have to look at our tenths column, first one after the decimal place, and we can see it's a six, between five and nine, we round up to six. Round over five, up to six. Here we've got a four, and when you look at our number after it, a two, so we're going to round down to two. Now the reason I've done this is if we have a look at these two numbers, we have 4.2, then we have 4.2134567889, okay? Now although there's lots, this these numbers, two, this one looks a lot scarier than that number, we do exactly the same thing. We only have to look at this. So these two numbers, although this one looks scarier, we do exactly the same thing. We look at our tenths column, we see it's a two, so we round down, and we round down to four. So those two answers are the same because we have the same number, whole number here, and we have the same number in our tenths column. So that's how we round to the nearest whole number, unit, or ten. Now what I'm going to show you is how to uh, round to different decimal places. Right, so now we're going to look at how to go to the nearest, either ten, hundred, thousandth, and so on, or to a certain amount of decimal places. Now, it's pretty much the same routine, it's the same rules that we use, so if you've got the last one, you should be able to get this one, no bother. Now, I wrote it here, to the nearest and something, and to something decimal places, because these mean the same thing in certain ways. So, you might have a question that says, round this number to the nearest tenth, hundredth, thousandth, ten thousandth, and so on. Or you might have rounded to one decimal place, two decimal place, 
three decimal place. It depends how the questions work. So one decimal place would mean we only have one number after a decimal place, two, two numbers after a decimal place, and so on. Obviously, it was of the year's tenth. We've got our tenths column, so we round into this one. Hundreds would be the hundreds column, thousands and thousands column, and so on. Okay, but the rule is the same no matter what you have in here. So once we've shown you it, you should be able to do it with it. Okay, so the first one we're going to do to one decimal place, so we're going to round it to the nearest tenth. Okay, we do exactly the same. We find the column that we're rounding to, so we round it to one decimal place, to our tenths. We look at the column afterwards, which is a one. And we do the same thing before, 0 to 4 we go down, 5 to 9 we go up, so it's 0 to 4, so we round down, so we go 3.2, that would get us to 3.2. You know you've done it right because we round at one decimal place and we have one decimal place, okay? So, let's look at two decimal places, so we've got 3.435, so this would be two decimal places, so it's our tenths, or a, sorry, tenths, thousands we're looking at okay so two decimal places our hundredths column so we're looking at that we look at the number after it it's a five that means we round up so we round that to 3.44 okay note there that any numbers after the number we're rounding to they stay the same so there'll only be the end one might change but if it's going up or stay the same if you're rounding down okay three decimal places Okay, oh, I'm going to have to put an extra number in there, I just realised. So we're rounding this to three decimal places, one, two, three. So our tenths, hundredths, thousands, so this will be to the nearest thousands. We look at the number after it's two, so we round it down. All the numbers before it stay the same. And that will be, we have three decimal places. Okay, and again, showing you like before with a longer number, we have 106.234634, okay, but we only round it to do des two decimal places, so we find our second decimal place, our hundredths column, so we round to the nearest hundredths, we look at the one after it, it's a four, zero to four we round down, so that means we have 106.2, they all stay the same, and we're rounding down, so that stays the same as well. Two decimal places we have two decimal places and just to show you it can just keep going on it doesn't matter how many decimal places or to the nearest whatever you're going to you use the same rule so this is five so i just need to go one two three four five that's the number i'm rounding i need to see that's going to tell me what to do it's telling me to round down so i'm going to round that number down everything before it stays the same eight one eight one round it down so we stick that as a nine Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We're around at a five decimal basis. Okay, so that shows you how to round any decimal number and also shows you how to round to the nearest whole number. Okay, I hope that video was helpful, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe so you can see when I put any more videos up for English and maths and they can help you out. Um, if the video was helpful, please like it, share it with anyone that you think it might help with, and obviously comment if you want any help with anything else, either down there, either on the Twitter page or on the Facebook page. Hope it helped you. Until next time, see you later.